All right. Graphic planning scheduling control tools. Uh, we've got this program evaluation and review technique called PERT Network. PERT Network was developed in 1958 for use in the development of the U.S. Navy's uh, poorly submarine launched missile project. And it's a graphic sequence and scheduling tour for large, complex, non routine projects. So I don't know, maybe some of you can tell me if you need this at your work. PERT terminology you have something called event, and that denotes to a performance milestone. Activity is any job that you do. And then critical path is the most time consuming, longest chain of required activities and events in a PERT network that must be accomplished on time or else the entire project will be delayed. Let's look at an example here. Uh, this is the equation for uh, PERT times. Uh, let's see, On the these are terminologies to understand before you look at the example. Uh, T, E, T, O, 2, T, M, and T, P. What is E? Time estimated. What is O? Optimistic. What is M? Most likely. And P is the pessimistic. And of course the E is the average. So here, if, and this is the equation, that the, the time on average will be the optimistic plus the pessimistic, four times your... Uh, your uh, your uh, 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 most likely divided by six, you get your total estimated or your average. And uh, let's say, for example, this class, or let's say your exam. Okay, when you come to your exam, your exam will be two hours. Okay, on average, students take one hour. The optimistic student will finish in forty minutes. The pessimistic will take the full two hours. Do you see? So if you want to get the time on average, we can use this equation, okay? You know, the person who do the optimistic 40 minutes, the person who takes the very long two hours, on medium they take one hour, so four by one four, you divide them by six, you get on average, okay? What is number six? Uh, jump at number six just to, to normalize the, to get the average, okay? Just if you, uh, if you think about it, one plus four is four, five plus one, six. So six by six, then it would be the average six. Do you say yes? Yeah. 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 Uh, positive and negative aspects of PERT is that it's an excellent scheduling tool for large non-routine projects. It requires envisioning projects in their entirety. Provides a tool for prepending, uh, pre, uh, predicting resource needed, potential problems and effects of delay, and appropriate for uh, repetitive assembly line operations. It's only as good as understanding assumptions about uh, event completion times and can be too time consuming if not computerized. Are you guys okay with this? Any one of these you don't understand? Do you understand them all? Okay. Which one? Which point? You don't understand them? Uh, all right, let's, uh, let's go through this and come back to it. Let's take this example here. We're going to build three dozen customized golf cart for use by specially challenged adults. Do you guys know what we mean by specially challenged adults? People with disabilities, okay? Let's say people who can't walk and they want to play golf. So we want to make a uh, golf cart, like a small car. They sit on it and then it, it moves them between the, the courses where they play golf. Get the idea? If you don't get the idea, raise your hand. If you got the idea, raise your hand. Some people didn't raise their hand. We're trying to make a small car, okay? That's the objective. So now, these are the activities we will do, the events. We will do receive the contract, begin construction of the cars. We will receive the parts. We will make the bodies ready for testing. We will frame the ready for testing, get the frames. And then we will drive uh, the train ready for testing. Components ready for testing. Carts assembled. And then carts ready for shipping. So these are events A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Okay? So when we reach I, what does that mean? It means carts are ready for shipping, okay? Here we made the small cars or carts. 
And here in A, we receive the contract. Now, when we receive, when we reach point G, what does that mean? All the components are ready for assembling. It means we have received all the parts. And then in point 9, is we actually do that. We assemble the parts. Okay? And once we reach H, it means what? The carts are ready. Did you guys get to understand those uh, steps and activities, events and tasks? Yes. So this is A is where we are, and this is number one, what we do. And then once we finish this, this is where we are. And then we start to have th three different routes. But once we all reach to G, it means all the components are ready. Where did we get the components? We get them from here, from the bodies ready for testing. We also got them from E. The frames are ready for testing. And we also got some parts from here, which is uh, receive the parts, and then the body is for testing. So here we made the body, here we made the frame, and here we made the, the you know, the parts. Do you see? And then here on in, in point G or event G, we have all the components ready. And then we did them and then we ship them. Are you guys okay with this? So now for this network, we can put the timing. How long each of the activities will take time? Now with the first activity here, the optimistic will take, let's say, three, uh, it says here nearest to the quarter of a day. So three quarters of a day. Here will take four quarters on a medium. On the pessimistic, it will take six quarters. So that's like a day and a half. And the estimated will be four and a quarter. Do you guys see? And then we built this schedule. And then here on the picture, we can see the time each of these activities will take on, you know, estimated on E, on average. Does this important for your work, if you do this? Sure. You see, okay. especially if, you know, if your job is a lot of doing of this, uh, and you do this and you measure the time, and this way you can be very accurate in terms of predicting how much time it will take, do you see, to make something or not to do something. So that's very good planning. Are you guys okay with this? So let's go back to the previous slide. Here it says what's good about this and what's bad about it. Number one, it is excellent scheduling. Anything that's large and routine. If it's not if it's routine job, you know, you make a sandwich. But if something not routine and you can, you know, computerize it like this can be very effective. Require envisioning projects in the entirety. You need to look at the picture as a whole. <coughs> you can't do it for a part. You need to be as a whole. It provides a tool for predicting resources needs. So now you know how much time each activity requires. And you know where we can have problems. Do you remember area like here? You know this can be a subject for a problem here. If any one of these people delay, this will delay, right? And then it says here it's inappropriate for repetitive assembly line operations. If it's an assembly line repetitive and it's a straight line, then there is no need. But since that we have this network where we have different parts from different coming to the same point G, here it becomes of a more need for this. Only as good as its underlining assumptions uh, about event completion times. So if you make good numbers, good results. If you don't do a good numbers, you don't get good results. And then here it can be too time consuming if it's not computerized. Many companies, they will computerize this. This way they know exactly how long it will take. And you might have called uh, this, uh, let's say you call MTN uh, helpline, you call 111, or, and then when they answer you, they tell you, uh, thank you for calling. This call will be recorded uh, for quality purposes. Uh, you, the next representative will be ready in two minutes. How do they know the two minutes? Yeah, probably they have a lot of previous data that can help them predict that it will take two minutes. And if you actually see, it will actually take two minutes. Till you five, it's five. How do they know that? Because if they have all the history. Any questions on the PERT network? No questions? 
All right, that's the end of the port network.